Alright, I am still, like, pretty sick, so I'm sorry in advance for if I sound weird or something, but I was like, okay, it's enough. I need to start making some more, like, videos because I've been sick for a pretty long time now, and I'm just, I need to do this, right? I want to do it. So, we're gonna just, you know, take it chill for now, but still commentate on some videos. So, right here we have uh, these two romance rank-up gems, and these are big, right? Because... There are so many good romance champions, and today's video is about Hulkling. And I kid you not, Hulkling changed my account forever. Like, easily. He is the most account-changing champion besides Hercules, probably. It is just unreal how powerful this champion is. And if for some reason this champion isn't rank 5 for you already, just do it now. Just rank 5 him right now. Do not even, like, hesitate. If you have, like, another rank up planned, cancel that rank up. Do Hulkling first. This man is just the most game-changing champion besides Hercules. It is just unreal. Now, this rank up is a pretty long process, but you know what? It's worth it, right? And when I was debating my rank 5s for these, like, romance gems, I was like, okay... I need I need someone that is just gonna be like a game changer because I wanted to just like push in battlegrounds for fun, just to see like how far I could get. And I was struggling in Celestial Five before Hulkling, and after Hulkling, I am now in the running for like Celestial Two or even Celestial One. It is crazy how like this one champion made me like competitive in battlegrounds and it's simple because he just counters some of the most annoying fights to deal with in battlegrounds and he can be a good defender as well so like and while i like prefer fun over anything else i think it's good to have like a healthy balance of fun rank ups and good rank ups and hulkling of course is just a really really good rank up so yeah, here is rank 4, uh, we gotta get some more class catalyst for him. I was just not prepared for this at all, but it was just so worth it in the end. But here is rank 4 Hulkling, uh, yeah, just such a good champion. And I can't believe like this character was slept on for so long. Like, okay, he wasn't like slept on, right? People thought he was good, but they didn't think that he'd be like the second best champion in the game, which he is right now, obviously. Why, well, I, I think so, anyway. I, I don't know. He's easily number two in the Cosmic class, but I think he might be the second best champion overall, too. That's a good debate, because there's, like, so many other good second place champions, like, I guess, uh, Kitty Pride maybe, maybe Ghost, but Hulkling is just such a strong dual threat champion, too. So, yeah, here is rank five with the Romance Gem. And that was like, I think, 2,000 units. The best 2,000 units spent for me by far. Because no one's going to do as much for my account as Hulkling is, right? So yeah, I think that was so like, that was such good value. And now I have one more gem. And I was debating between Hercules and Archangel. Hercules, you know, I have history with that champion. I love that champion a ton now, surprisingly. Archangel, I have history with him too because of Arya. And, you know, while I'm not, like, the biggest fan of him, it'd be nice to, like, mend some fences, right? So, I was debating those two champions. I made my choice already, and I won't spoil it, but I think it's going to be a very special video soon. But here is Hulkling at rank 5, level 62. We're almost there. And yeah, after this, it is just going to be a compilation of this man being so, so good for Battlegrounds. So here are the final levels. Not yet, actually, because I didn't claim enough. I am so silly for that, but it's fine. And yeah, here are the final levels for Hulkling. So now, now what, right? You rank up the second best champion in the game. What happens next? Well... You gotta sig him up now, obviously. So let's go sig 180 for now, just to like have more fury duration. And every sig level matters for Hulkling. It is so, so important because you get like up to plus three seconds on the fury buffs. And that goes a long, long way in Battlegrounds. All right, so first matchup here, we have this Nick Fury fight. Now this one I think wasn't the cleanest, but you know, I don't run a good shop. I run a sloppy shop with my Battlegrounds gameplay. Like, I'm not consistent in the slightest. If I was, I'd be Celestial 1, but I'm not. So yeah, I just, you know, I have some things to work on for sure, but I think that 
Hulkling is just going to help me get there one day, maybe at least. But yeah, here I go back in, drop a combo into the SP2, and yeah, the damage output is pretty nice. That was all into block, but it's fine. We go back in, drop another combo, and yeah, so far so good in this matchup. We get the dex, no big deal, 14,000 mediums, and then we can just, you know, play it slow a bit here, let him just... Let him block, and once he blocks, go back in, drop a 4-hit combo into the block, or a 5-hit actually, and drop another SP2, 30,000 crit, get the nice intercept, and this matchup is essentially over. We just need to get like, you know, one more combo string down into the SP2, and I think we're just chilling. So yeah, not bad in the slightest. Uh, Hulkling just really good for this fight. And by the way, not my best matchup. It could have been so much better, but I just... It was my first time using Hulkling at all, so it, like, cut me some slack. And I also won, so there's that. Not even fussed about it. Uh, but this is why. This is why he was so worth it. Before Hulkling, Future Ant-Man was by far my most hated defender, without a doubt. So annoying to deal with, without Hulkling, right? And I would lose all of my matchups to Future Ant-Man. I was sick of it, so I was like, okay, Hulkling is going up to rank 5. And how does he do in the first future Ant-Man matchup? Well, let me tell you, he does really dang good, because look at this insanity right here. Drop the SP2, 28,000 crit, go back in afterwards, and look at this absolute destruction of future Ant-Man. This is why I took him up, and he did his job perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. That is why he is rank 5 right now, because I needed something to counter this annoyance, right? And once you pinpoint your, like, biggest weakness, and you find the solution to it, you're gonna do about a thousand times better in Battlegrounds, right? So, like, let's say you cannot fight Bullseye, then rank up Sunspot. He'll do it in, like, 30 seconds. I'll post that pretty soon. Uh, let's say you're struggling with, um, who else? Like... Onslaught, then rank up Shocker, for example. Like, once you find the solution to your problem, and you, like, take action, the result is gonna be so, so good for you. So just trust me, it is so worth it. It is so worth just, you know, making sure that you have the right counter for, like, your biggest issues. And right here, Future Ant-Man again, just getting destroyed right now because I, I love, I love this. I want to show every single Future Ant-Man matchup because, yeah, I want y'all to see just how good he is against future Ant-Man, who was my biggest weakness for such a long time. And you know what? Here's a Gallon fight too, no big deal. Um, Hulkling just has that like burst damage to help make Gallon pretty much a joke fight, but I do mess up here a bit because like I said, I don't run a clean shop here, I run a sloppy shop, but it doesn't matter because a win is a win and, you know, there's always room for improvement, obviously, but whatever I'm doing is kind of working right now, so I'll take it. So there we drop the Intimidate, go back in, drop an SP2, and yeah, very nice damage here. Go back in, drop the Relic, and here I should have just held block, but I didn't. He drops the SP2, I take some block damage, no big deal. I mean, it is a big deal, right, but... Uh, could have done could have done better obviously but that was still really really fast and just really good and yeah now we have this hercules fight you know number one versus number two who's gonna win this it's like a national championship match and hercules is pretty annoying because of like his infuriate mechanic and it is just you know it's annoying to deal with right i don't like dealing with it i think hercules is a great dual threat champion because of it it is just not fun at all but hulkling it's just Hulkling, right? That's just how it goes. Uh, watch this. We're going to go in, drop the combo into the block, into the SP2, and look at this beautiful damage. Get the intercept, and yeah, 12,000 light attack crits, 15,000 relic crit, and this is just so satisfying. I, I love it so much. Like, he's such a fun champion, too. So, like, that's why I think he's such a good rank up, because he's not just good. He's really really dang fun as well so yeah he is just the ultimate champion like hercules also really fun to play so i like how the best cosmic characters are just really fun champions cgr gallon as well just 
amazing stuff, right? And yeah, we get the win there because Atuma is nice, but more on Atuma in a separate video. Forgot to mention that. Yeah, forgot to mention that, that um, he might be ascended. He might be. Also might not be. Who knows? But yeah, here's another future Ant-Man fight. I had to show it, right? Like, I had to show y'all this because it's future Ant-Man. We are just, you know, laughing at his grave right now because it's so hilarious how, like, this man is just destroyed by Hulkling. Just absolutely destroyed. He stands no chance. Uh, here he drops the SP2, no big deal. And yeah, we're gonna go back in after this, drop the combo to the block as per usual, drop the SP2, and yeah, some pretty good damage there. No crits necessary, but a nice 18,000 crit there. Go back in, drop another SP2, and this man is just saving me. He is saving me big time right now. Amazing stuff. I love, I love Hulkling so much. And here's the best way to end it with a mirror match. You know, like Hulkling versus Hulkling, only one wins. And yeah, this is going to be a really fun one. And this just goes to show that Hulkling can just pretty much take anything, really. Like I've taken like bishops with him. I've taken just really random stuff that just you know, doesn't seem good on paper, but it actually is pretty dang sweet. But here I dropped the combo into the SP2, and yeah, uh, I didn't do that correctly, obviously, because yeah, like, I didn't get the unblockable, but it's fine. Uh, we're still alive, and that's all that matters. I could have got punished there for sure, but it is what it is. We go back in, though, drop the relic into the SP2 again once he gets his block going, which he doesn't yet, but it's fine. So we're gonna do that, he dashes back, holds block, now I do my combo, into the SP2, 32,000 crits twice, and that is just insane, and Hulkling is just really good for Hulkling. But yeah, a quick short video here, sorry it wasn't longer, but like, you know, my voice is pretty limited still, so I had to just make this kind of quick, but yeah, 12 minutes, I think is good enough, right? But like I was saying, if you don't have Hulkling ranked up, take him up ASAP, game changing champion, he changed my account forever, and he is just so worth it, 1 million percent. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on Hulkling, and yes, yeah, about it for me.